Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. And folks, it is day six in the month of matcha celebration 2020. And folks, uh, getting off that latte kick. <laughs> So I wanted to try something else, a pre-made matcha. And some of you may have heard this, may have not heard it, you know, but now you will. This is Rebels Organic Ethically Sourced Matcha Latte with, oh, I can't read that. Oh, it's an energizing elixir dubbed by them. And it has a whole tea leaf or whole green tea leaf, whatever, I can't, I'm trying to read it backwards, and coconut milk. And, you know, this is already cold. It's ready to be consumed. It's perishable. So, yeah, we got to keep it refrigerated. Ooh, folks, so hopefully this latte tastes a whole lot better than the one that I tried to make yesterday because it was eh. and folks um well thirsty thursday video will be up before this video but yeah I'll have thirsty thursday video up like I uh, took too long of course so there is a lot there is a freaking novel back here but let's go on and read it it's Friday so why not <laughs> All right, so we got a, like, Star Wars-esque type um, description. Here we go. In the beginning, the plant queendom was the ultimate healer. Her super herb magic rever revered and respected. Over the last few centuries, some of her best secrets almost are faded almost to obscurity. If we hold one fervent belief, it's time, it's that the time has come to celebrate, share, and reunite with these eternal botanical treasures. We have found our purpose. Welcome to Rebel. With love, Paolo, co-founder, and Cheryl, CEO. Pretty cool. So keep it going. Matcha green tea. Japanese Zen Buddhist monks have relied on matcha for centuries to fuel their enlightenment. This finely ground green tea leaf contains high levels of L-theanine, which matcha bar also claims. L-theanine supporting calm, focused, meditative energy. We add creamy coconut milk. Ooh, nice. I was worried if it was dairy. Uh, creamy coconut milk with a touch of forest honey to give this latte a modern twist on the uh, traditional treasured green tea ritual. Fit body fat. Coconut MCTs, which I think are medium chain triglycerides. MCTs from coconut are the famed fit body fats that support an efficient metabolism, providing a sustained source of smooth, smooth, clean energy. Oh, it tells you, sweet. Yeah, it's medium chain triglycerides. So, um, for the, I guess, overall picture of the um, MCTs. Matcha green tea is 2,600 milligrams. L-theanine approximately has 35 milligrams. Caffeine from matcha is 80 to 100 milligrams. So nice. It's in the morning. I can enjoy it before I go to work. Uh, and total MCTs, it's 3.8 grams. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, no cane sugar. What's wrong with cane sugar, y'all? Um, no gums. And do, 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 let's just go on to the nutrition facts. So a serving size is one bottle. One bottle is 12 fluid ounces or 354 milliliters. Well, the Waterloo can said 355. So I guess it's like they, they didn't round up or something. Um, calories. 100 calories for the serving, for the bottle. Uh, calories from fat, 50. Total fat, 6 grams. Saturated fat is 6 grams because of the triglycerides. 
uh, sodium 55 milligrams, total carbs 9 grams, dietary fiber 0 grams, added sugars or sugars 9 grams, protein 1 gram, vitamin D 0, iron 0, calcium 0, potassium 2%. Ingredients are as follows, organic coconut milk, organic honey, organic matcha green tea, organic vanilla extract, organic spirulina, spirulina, whichever, <laughs> organic, what does that say? Quila, quilaha, quija, quijaha. I'm pretty sure it's like a Spanish or a um, Latin origin. Not Latin, Latin, but like Latino. Y'all forgive me. Um, Guiaja extract, pink salt, organic stevia extract. So it says shake well, shake a, or shake a lot, like more than you think. The... I'm still going to shake it because I don't know. But yeah, it's nice that they tell you this is plant-free. This is soy-free. Oh, my God. As long as it's... Or I said plant-free. I meant dairy-free, y'all. <laughs> oh. Be enough time. All righty, y'all. So this is Rebels. Organic matcha latte. Here we go, down the hatch. Cheers, y'all. It's slightly sweet, but it still has enough sweetness to uh, satiate, you know, Folk who don't really sweeten their drinks all that much. But for those that like their matcha lattes made in like Starbucks or some stuff with that pre-sweetened matcha mix, you may not like it because it's not sweet enough for you. The matcha, like it's not watered down like the matcha bar because that was my problem. Even when I boiled that a matcha bar drink it just tastes watered down it tastes like matcha essence water this tastes like matcha tea like legit how matcha tea is supposed to taste like so i mean different strokes for different folks the folks at matcha bar um you know they i hope they're doing well the the point that um they're, you know, you know, having a positive net profit when they're in the um, green instead of the red. But yeah, with Rebel, this tastes similar to, for me, it tastes similar to uh, um, DIY matcha that, you know, you just don't sweeten it too too much so they didn't put too much they they it you get more of a focus of the matcha which is another um plus that i want to mention to y'all you get the taste of the matcha and it doesn't taste like coconut so the matcha is dominant you get a slight hint of sweetness and like the matcha intensity isn't as intense because the coconut cream, the coconut milk um, is there to kind of take that shift away. So yeah, let's go on and give the verdict, shall we? And then I'll finish the rest of this for my breakfast before I head in. So, in the case of Rebels Organic Matcha Latte, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, folks. Y'all, I would rate this a good. Heck, I'd even say great. This is really good. 
Like, um, if you can get a hold of this at your local health food store or Whole Foods, get it, try it. No need to worry about um, if you're lactose intolerant like I am and um, you're worried that the latte might cause you to, you know, not agree with you. No, it's made with coconut uh, milk, so you're good. And for those that don't want to um, try soy products, you're good. This is coconut milk. So it's a smart choice on the company, I feel. And um, yeah, this makes me want to try their other products that are available. Um, good job, Rebel. I really do like the um, attention to detail, you know, in terms of like, you know, if people are going to worry about their dietary concerns. Well, okay, we got this covered, we got this covered, we got this covered, you know. I like that. If you like organic drinks, sure. Um, how much did I pay for this? I believe it was three forty nine. Which it's organic. It's um made with I don't know what kind of matcha they don't specify. But I mean it's up there with like a ceremony with um a latte made with ceremonial matcha. But I kind of doubt it's made with ceremonial. But, you know, it, it doesn't... You know, at this point, it doesn't really... Um, meet, make too much of a difference for me. This is just in terms of taste. This is a great go-to latte. I bet you I can heat it up and have a nice, you know, hot matcha latte. But, um... Yeah, definitely would get it again if I know where to find it. And I, like I said, y'all, I recommend if you haven't tried it, go ahead and try uh, Rebels Organic Matcha Latte. It's really good. <laughs> so, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of the Month of Matcha Celebration. That's day six down. I will see you tomorrow for day seven. And, folks, take care. Oh, but. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products I try. Um, question for you all, folks, since we're on the subject. Have you tried Rebel products? Um, if so, let me know what exactly you tried. Because I know they have different... Um, uh, drinks and I think they have other products too but I haven't had a chance to look at their website and see what the what they're um, promoting but um, yeah let me know what you've tried um, if you haven't tried rebel are you curious as to trying them um, I think if you can like try your local health food store and if you can't well, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, that's going to do it. I got to go ahead and get ready. Um, so take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day, folks. Thank you all for watching. I could never thank you enough. Really appreciate you stopping on by. And folks, yeah, this is Sasha signing off. We'll see you tomorrow for day seven, maybe a weekend special video somewhere in the mix too. Don't quote me on that, but we'll see. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend though. Finish out this week strong and bye now.